Why do you podcast? Yes, plenty of selfish reasons are important, if only to keep you podcasting, but does it go deeper than that? I asked the community and was blown away by the responses I received. Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. What bigger mission does your podcast plug into? What lofty goal are you trying to achieve with your podcast? What higher purpose are you trying to serve with your podcast? The inspiration for today's episode comes from a friend of mine, Pam Slim, an amazing community builder and business leader from right here in the Phoenix area. She said that on stage or asked that question on stage recently and, and, and the idea of a bigger mission that your podcast might plug into or track back to really st struck me and stuck with me actually, which is kind of weird because I actively rail against things like mission statements for businesses. Maybe that's because I'm cynical A eh? and I've typically found that the words that are written down from a company on a mission statement have very little to do with the actual business practices that business practice does. But again, I recognize that's a very cynical take. So I've been pondering Pam's question for some time now. What bigger purpose does a podcast plug into? And I've been thinking about that for like the 20 odd podcast I've done in the 17 years I've been podcasting. And if I'm honest, a lot of them were purpose free. Yep. Now, some of them actually came into their purpose over time. And it was the rare few, like this show, for example, that actually started life with a stated purpose in mind. Now, not that there's any rule that says your show has to have a purpose. Again, many of my shows did not, and all of them were fun to do for at least a time. So I was curious about this. So I sent out a tweet last night asking for podcasters to share their raison d'etre, if you will, for their show. And I got a lot of replies, and thank you all very much for your replies. In the interest of time, I'm just going to share some select ones on the program today. Fellow Phoenix podcast person Garrett Godfrey says, uh, On Good Patron, that's his show, I explore how we can better support the bands and musicians we love. That's a very nice purpose. Supporting musicians, independent musicians specifically, is a very good thing to do. Ex Phoenix podcaster, uh, Dr. Carrie Gillen show, she uh, has a show called Vocal Fries. She says it exists to highlight the fact that judging language is judging humans in racist, sexist, classist ways, and more. Hmm. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. I also heard from uh, Susan, I'm going to mispronounce your name, Susan. I apologize. Susan Nishreden. She said, over 80% of the people are disengaged in the workplace. In Life Beyond the Numbers, that's her shows, conversations are about how to have a more fulfilling work life. Wow, that's a cool thing to do. Amanda Kendall says that her podcast, The Thoughtful Travel Podcast, connects to her whole life and career purpose, which is sharing the value of travel as a tool both for personal growth and to make the world a better place. Hmm. I know many pod, many travelers who feel the same way. Martha Lutton of the podcast Squanderlust says her show's purpose is to help people overcome the fear and shame around how they have managed their money so they can face where they are now and change it for the better. Letting people know that it's okay. That's great. Now, beyond Twitter, there were there were several more responses, but I also reached out to the fellow members of the Advancing Podcasting community, which you can join for free, by the way, advancingpodcasting.xyz, and I got a few answers. Uh, Neil Headley of the Snooze Button Podcast, he was the first one to reply. His show is there not just to help people get better sleep, and Neil hasn't been able to sleep since he was like six years old, but it's an effort, he says, to save people from the hucksters who would capitalize on ignorance by pushing ridiculous solutions that don't actually help people. Mmm, skepticism coming out. I love it. We'll stay there for a minute because Gary Arndt replied. 
his show, Everything Everywhere, he says that he's trying to combat ignorance with his show. Too many people just don't know much about the world around them, how it works, and how it all came to be. Hence the show, Everything Everywhere. And I was really taken by the answer that Andrew Clues from the Motoring Podcast provided. He said, Our podcast wasn't started for any noble or higher reason than no one else was doing a UK-centric motoring news curated show. Okay, however, he goes on and says, We have found ourselves fighting misinformation, a lack of understanding for subjects such as autonomous vehicles, AI and cars, electric cars, whatever. I wouldn't, Andrew goes on to say, for one minute pretend to be doing it for the greater good or something, but factually poor reporting does irk me. Now that's an incredibly self-aware observation, Andrew, and a nice way to, I think, bring us back full circle on this topic. You know, maybe your show doesn't connect with a bigger mission or a lofty goal or a higher purpose. Maybe not, but maybe it does. Maybe like Andrew, you figure out that there is something there. You discover it as you go along and podcast. The trick therein is finding that higher goal, that higher purpose, that mission that's out there. The trick is then elucidating that succinctly and then making sure that becomes your North Star as both you and your podcast progress down the road. You know, looking back on things, I think it's a lot easier. If I look back at my own history of podcasting, I think it's a lot easier to build a shared experience for your listeners and a sense of community amongst you and your listeners if, in fact, the podcast does have a bigger mission at stake. Again, not required to do that. I'm just saying it might be a little bit easier. So if that's important to you, building that shared experience, having a sense of community around your podcast, maybe look at the mission, the higher purpose, the goal you're trying to achieve with the show. Let's do a quick boostagram. Now it's time for the booster, booster, boost, boostagram corner. Boostagram corner. I don't know a thing about crypto. A big thanks to James Cridland from Podland and Pod News and all the other potty type things that James does. He sent me a boostagram on Fountain great little app and his message was i'm happy oh by the way james i'm happy to test with you any single time because he simply said it's nice to see um you know to do testing he didn't say anything specifically he just said he was testing the process and i'm happy to test with people much like that welcome to welcome to the world of value for value in apps it's very nice to see boosts from the new podcast apps like fountain you can find more of those podcast apps at newpodcastapps.com and please visit podcastpontifications.com slash value for value for ways you can support me and my mission of making podcasting better for podcasters and for listeners alike. I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers. Cheers.